So if you watched this video I made two and a half weeks ago, you know that I had gotten an email from this guy named Ben. He had suggested I make a video about this girl named I Am Sophie, who on the surface looked to be like this vapid, daddy's girl, rich, lifestyle, check out my jet, YouTube vlog wannabe, right? Kind of like a female version of Bobby Misner. Guess what? Parties. Now I get emails like this all the time and 90% of the time they don't pan out, but this one I thought looked interesting. I took it at face value. I made a video that I thought was funny, posted it up. Uh, and since that time, things have gone a little bit a bananas. And uh, there's been no shortage of people making sure to let me know in my comments. Aren't you the same guy that tricks people into watching YouTube Queen? I'm not gonna believe you, dude. You got me, Leon the Trickster, turning tricks on YouTube since 2008. Hey, what's up? This is actually an ARG. Thank you for clarifying that. Two weeks after it was already evident. It's hilarious this guy doesn't realize this is an ARG and that this is purely parody making fun of people like Rice Gum who mostly just advertise their merch. Okay, first off, Rice Gum? <laughs> I have not heard that name in a while. Secondly, I know a lot of you are like, what the hell is an ARG, Leon? And don't feel bad, because at the time I didn't know either, so here you go. An ARG is an interactive network narrative that uses the real world as a platform and employs transmedia storytelling to deliver a story that may be altered by players' ideas or actions. And thirdly, this inhumane bullying has to stop, all right? I'm already getting bullied by Mother Nature. I can't even leave the damn house. Now I'm getting bullied that I don't know what an ARG is in my comment section. And you know what? The timing matters. At the time of my recording, there wasn't a shred of evidence that it was an ARG. If only I had pinned a comment two weeks ago the second it became evident. Oh wait! If only I had talked about the inconsistencies and high likelihood that it could be a parody at the end of my last video. Oh wait! Seems a little suspect if you ask me, and other comments are talking about this maybe being a parody. So I got to thinking and I did a little investigating. Hi FBI, I have a fraud to report. But let's be honest, only uh... 40% of you or so even made it that far. So, statistically speaking, I can't even get mad at you for bullying me, you know what I'm saying? Let, let me have it. I'm sorry that I didn't know this was an ARG before there was a single shred of evidence it was an ARG, son of a bitch! Anyway, since then, a lot has transpired, much has been revealed in this story, and an entire community of ARG enthusiasts has sprung up on Reddit to follow this story closely as it unfolds. I've also seen a bunch of questions and theories about whether I'm involved somehow whether I got paid to promote it or if I'm one of the characters because the timing was a little bit suspicious. All right, I'll admit that, but that's crazy. Okay. Huh? <laughs> oh, no, no, but seriously, we're gonna uh, we're gonna talk about the timing and how this has kind of unfolded from my perspective, and then look at what's going on right now because this thing is starting to ramp up uh, pretty rapidly here over the past week or two. But before we jump headfirst into that, I have to give a huge thank you to Dollar Shave Club for being my partner for going on three years now. So I'm gonna do this epic sponsor transition and give you the lowdown on that. Now due to my heightened anxiety as of late for obvious reasons I will not speak of, I gotta be honest, I let myself go a bit. I was looking like a side of dried up gravy just a few hours ago. But because of Dollar Shave Club, I was able to glow myself up into this whole ass turkey dinner you're beholding in front of you right now. <laughs> they have all of your grooming needs, oral care products, shower products, deodorants, and of course the best shaving kit in the game. Their Ultimate Shave Starter Set comes with their six blade executive razor and their Dr. Carver's Prep Scrub, shave butter, and the post-shave dew. I love exfoliating with the prep scrub because it helps me dunk on ingrown hairs, and then I use the translucent shave butter so I can get that precision lineup, and then I hydrate with the dew. Right now, you can get their ultimate shave kit for five bucks, and after that, the regular size products ship at the regular price, but you can mix and match what you want to get, set up the frequency. Uh, it's really convenient. You can check it out on the website. So if you want a hassle-free grooming routine, use my link in the description, dollarshaveclub.com slash leonlush to get your very first starter kit for five bucks and get going with Dollar Shave Club today. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. Now at the time I recorded my initial video, it was only these three videos here that were on the channel, right? They had this uh, channel trailer, which was basically like a little snippet of the vlog, um, that apparently she was actually, she or whoever's kind of running the game here, uh, was paying to promote because I got screenshots from people that showed her video coming up uh, as advertisements on other videos. So she, they were obviously trying to get traffic that way. Then the vlog that I did a video on in this YRP collection, which is basically just a little bumper for her merch website, right? Now in her video, the guide to being young, rich, and powerful, which was the video I did the original piss take on, it felt like Bobby Misner 2.0 kind of, right? The jets, the, the unrelatability, trying to act profound, but it 
also kind of felt too perfect, like like she was just nailing every single point, like driving it home so hard, it was making it so easy for just normal people to dislike her, that it was a little bit suspicious there. And then as it got to the end, these inconsistencies where her accounts, the Twitter and the Instagram and her YouTube were all created kind of around the same time within the last few months, her merch website that was sold out even though she didn't have an audience. So it was leaning, I guess, at that point towards parody, but it also wasn't so far-fetched that it was out of the question that this was a real girl trying to be a YouTube vlogger. Little did I know that it would become this drawn-out multi-video production alternate reality game that apparently I'm now a part of on some level. <laughs> or did I? No, I'm just kidding. So just as I'm finishing recording my video three weeks ago, she uploads another vlog called This Rich Girl Lives on 10 Euros for a Day Failed. Oh my God, with it, she just uploaded a brand new vlog. <sighs> well, maybe another time. And I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll watch it later. I finish recording, put that on ice, think nothing of it. No, it'll be fine. Like, 10 pounds is a lot of money. It's like 10,000 pennies. But so later on that night, after I start editing my video a bit, I watch through her second video, and it's, you know, more of the same, just insufferable, rich girl lifestyle stuff. Everything, but the most important thing about the label is, like, what it stands for. Like Talking about positivity, about the powerful message she wants behind her merchandise, and some more, uh, you know, B-roll of the jet. <laughs> We also get introduced to her friend Plum, who becomes one of the characters in this ARG. So this is Plum. She's basically one of my oldest friends. Soph's stuff is so, so dope. Okay. She just designs like <laughs> simplistic, yet effective kind of stuff. Like remember that plain white t-shirt? So I leave the comment, parody on point, because they were laying it on pretty thick by this point. And I was just impressed by the effort and the production value and the budget that clearly was set aside to make these parody videos just to take the piss out of rich lifestyle vloggers or something but uh you know didn't think anything of it more than that so i edit my video over the course of the the next day or two so my video goes live and of course that puts a few more eyeballs on it and at that point i start getting some emails and people tweeting at me someone found out that that uh estate or her house is really this place called broughton hall in the uk that's one of the oldest manors in the uk where people do weddings you can rent it out kyle ken kitty said she did some sleuthing and found out that there's a play called i am sophie apparently about a woman pretending to be another woman. Confirmed parody, right? It's all well and good, but then somebody points out this that I clearly missed in my first viewing of The Rich Girl Lives on 10 Euro a Day. At 5.56 as they're walking into the plane. Oh, oh, did you catch that? Freeze. Enhance. 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 Frame by frame. So they inserted this frame of this mysterious girl with a 4x3 aspect ratio. Uh, you know, grainy, blown out. This was the first indication that there was something a little more going on than just, you know, this parody of a rich lifestyle YouTuber. And for me, you know, I'm an, I had never heard of an alternate reality game previous to this. So I start researching what the hell an ARG is and it sounds pretty cool, right? And sure enough, a day later, we get another video from the channel called responding to Leon Lush dot dot dot. Wait, hold on a second. That's me. Out. But it's not about what cards you doubt. It's about how you deal them that counts. So I start watching and it seems more of the same, which would make sense, I think, because a lot of this was probably pre-recorded. I imagine if they rented this place out, they may have had all of these stories scripted out and just banged out the shooting maybe over a weekend. But it looks like they found a spot to kind of, in within their narrative, to interject a piece of my video. Um, and use that, I guess, as leverage, maybe to get some more eyeballs on the story, which is, you know, well played. Thanks for tuning in again. So firstly, I just wanted to address something that has been bothering me quite a lot. A lot of people have said that I have got hella, hella lots of money and can't talk about normal things. You know, being mega rich is probably awesome for a lot of reasons, but it's tough, I think, for a lot of people, especially when they grow up that way, because they don't really bring a lot to the table sometimes other than being mega rich, like that becomes their entire identity. And I just want to say that I have never let money change who I am as a person. I've never let money affect any of my decisions. I think I've done that, but it's so important for me that you guys feel seen. So she never addresses me directly, but it seems like they planned in their narrative for some criticism or blowback, whether in the comments or from people like myself making videos about it. Now that does lend itself to the theory that the person who emailed me, who signed his name as Ben, 
could possibly be the dude from the ARG. And in hindsight, looking at that email, kind of the way it was written, very basic to the point, just like serving it up on a platter. I have no idea, 50-50 chance. Ben's a pretty common name, but there's a pretty high likelihood that that could be the same Ben from this video that uh, served me up and I just sunk my teeth around that hook like a three pound bass, baby. <laughs> See, this is what we do every day on the water, baby. I don't even know if a three pound bass is big, but what I'm saying is yes, I took the bait. And if that's the case, kudos to Ben, because clearly that helped kind of light a fire under this ARG. And now there's like a community on Reddit that's all following this. There's people over there. First of all, shout out to the Reddit, the I am Sophie Reddit too, because these, these dudes, these guys and girls are over there going nuts, pining over every little detail, finding every, little screenshot, like this is a fun thing to do for some people and it couldn't be a better time to have a distraction right now in the season of the the season of the Rona. Moving forward from here, uh, it goes it goes wild. So the rest of that video is like. We see a flash of this sketchy room with this chair in it. We see the silhouette of a man in a suit. And then it ends with this uh, introduction to this character here who ends up being this girl, Lara. Okay, now we're talking. Clearly this has taken a turn. Not only is Sophie not real, which we knew, but it's not just a parody. I mean, we're taking, we're getting like some horror elements here. Uh, and clearly this has taken a turn and there's some foreshadowing going on uh, with this girl and the silhouette of the dude. And now I'm, now I'm intrigued. Now my interest is peaked and I'm hooked. I want to see what's going down for the rest of these videos. Now there is a guy named Nightmind who made a really good video kind of explaining the progression of the events up until, um, one of the more recent videos that you can check out. In the midst of getting this episode of Nightmind ready, a major development occurred. On March 11th, Sophie's Twitter and Instagram were taken over, showing her in a state of distress. Within hours, her YouTube banner reflected the change, and a video appeared with a coded title, Algorithm. So it's a long video, but he does a great job covering a lot of the details, and it will get you up to speed uh, if you're intrigued by this and you have a little time to kill, which, let's be honest, who doesn't in the world right now? So on that note, it's now the day after and there's already been another upload since I recorded. So the story's progressing very quickly the last week or so. And I did attempt to touch on a few of these videos, but without making this an hour long, I realize I'm just not going to do it justice. The main theme I'm seeing is this girl, Lara, basically taking over Sophie's life and the growing inclusion of this monster in a suit that I believe is supposed to represent hate, which was made clear in the most recent upload where they included some comments from earlier videos. My main goal was to talk about my experience near the beginning as this unfolded and realize what was going on, so I'll be keeping an eye on it for sure, uh, but here's a few more thoughts from when I recorded yesterday. One thing that just happened recently that was brought to my attention is that Sophie, or whoever, Lara now, unfollowed everybody on Twitter and Instagram, barring one person, uh, and that person is me. So, I'm gonna be honest with you, kinda creeps me out a little bit. Clearly, I was kinda part of the beginning of this thing even if it was involuntary. In fact, I saw a Reddit post about this that I thought summed it up pretty well. Theory, Leon Lush is involuntarily involved with this. So yeah, I think we can all agree it's a bit weird. She only follows him on social media, which might make people think he's involved. I, however, think that the hate Leon gave Sophie at first is kind of what fuels the hand man. And that's why she's only following him now because he was hating on her. That's what gives him his strength. I don't think Leon himself is involved hands on, but I do think he got dragged in and will have something to do with all of this, even though he's probably not even aware of it right now. There's a lot of really interesting theories that people are coming up with on the subreddit. Um, but I'm just hoping this guy isn't supposed to represent me. <laughs> all I'm saying is thank God there's a travel ban right now because these motherfuckers are doing all this up in the UK from what I understand. And they're not even allowed over here right now. So I'm, I'm sleeping easy at the moment, but I am uh, intrigued to see where this goes. I'm hooked, man. This is, you know, some people might be like, oh, Leon, why are you gassing this up? Whatever, unless you're involved. No, I'm not. I just like, I made the original video and then I've seen how it's transpired. Uh, and I'm so much, I, it's so much cooler to me what's going on now than it just being what I originally thought it might have been. So I hope you guys are doing well despite the climate of anxiety in the world right now. I, for one, can't think of a better time to be uh, distracted by an alternate reality game that I'm involuntarily a part of, apparently. Um, so thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one. I don't think I'll make another video on this, but I am excited to see how it plays out and I'll be keeping my eyes on that subreddit. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah. Easy. Oh.